Tom Sensei here. In this video, we're going to talk about how to fly through a nebula. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, HitFilm 4 Express and we're going to try to duplicate or replicate this effect. Here's the thing. Uh, I stole this idea from an old tutorial by Simon Jones in the HitFilm channel uh, using the old HitFilm Ultimate. That software had more things that you could do than HitFilm 4 Express. So because of that, the Express versions uh, are a little bit more limited. I'm going to fake it as best I can, but it's not going to look exactly the same. I'm going to start by making a new composite shot. And it's going to be a 10-second composite shot. And click OK. I'm going to drag my picture of the Orion Nebula into uh, this shot. And this is just a picture I got from... Uh, the Hubble Space uh, tele uh, Telescope website. I'll leave a link in the description below. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rescale this so that it actually matches the size of our um, frame. So about 150 by 80, and then I'm going to re-lock that because I am going to scale these things. Uh, I also want to make this into a 3D plane because we are going to make it 3D. It adds a camera. Uh, and then I'm going to duplicate it about four times, all right? So I'm going to rename these. I'm going to start. This is going to be number one. This is closest to the camera. This is number two, second closest to the camera. Th this is going to be number three, third closest to the camera. And this is going to be my background. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a two-dimensional picture and we're going to divide it up into three-dimensional looks. So here's a perspective shot of this whole thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to yeah, so you can see that right now the camera is just looking at this picture, right, of this three-dimensional plane here, all right? But what I want to do is, is I want to start cutting out pieces of that picture and making them look either closer or further away. So as I look at this picture, I say, wow, you know, I think maybe this cloud is probably the closest part of that picture. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to use my mask tool and I'm going to very roughly sort of cut this cloud out, okay, and make it its own little part of the, of the thing. And I'm doing this very roughly, but you get an idea, right? Uh, and you could be a little bit more exact, but, you know, it doesn't have to be too perfect because I'm going to feather it heavily, about 50 pixels, okay? So that's the first thing. Then in the second one, I'm going to cut out... Um, starting down here, I'm going to cut this piece of this out right here. And I'm going to say that this is the second closest part of this nebula right here. I'm just going to like this, you see. And again, I don't have to be too perfect by any means, you know, because it's sort of, uh, it's going to be feathered heavily again. And that's what I'm going to do next. Shape, feather it to about 50 pixels worth. And then in the third one, I'm going to say that this piece up here is, is more so. I'm just going to kind of come on the inside until I get to about here, and then I'm going to follow this line right here. And this is going to be essentially my third closest. And again, I want to heavily pixel this, or feather this, I mean, these about 50 pixels worth. And then the background is going to remain the same. All right, so now if I go back out and I look at the perspective, you can see all of these different layers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pulling these layers out. So I'm going to start with that front piece, and I'm going to pull him really forward a lot. And then the second one, I'm going to pull him in between. And then the fourth one, I'm going to back him up. I'm going to leave the third one exactly where it's at. Okay, so now there's some 3D perspective to it. Going back to the camera, now you can see that all these are in, you know, they're they're all still the same size, but they need to look bigger or, or smaller in the thing. So I'm going to adjust the scale of the background first to match. Then I'm going to adjust number two again. I'm going to adjust the scale to match. And then I'm going to adjust the front, very front one as well. Again, I just want it to match my shot. Okay, so now if I were to take that camera and I were to keyframe that position and then go to the end and then I were to bring it in closer, say at to 1350, then what will happen is it will look as if it's moving through 3D space. And the reason it looks that way is because 
it is moving virtually through that 3D space where those slides are, okay? So now I'm going to do a couple of things just to make it look a little bit more cooler. One is, is I'm going to add a spherical warp effect to the background, okay? And what I want to do is I don't want it to be a sphere. I want it to be sort of a reverse sphere, maybe around negative 20 or so. And it just looks, you know, like it's sort of wrapping around itself by doing that. And then the other thing is, is I want to tie it together with a 3D effect. And fortunately, uh, HitFilm Express comes with a fluffy cloud effect. So I'm going to drop that in front of the camera. If I go back to the perspective, you can see it's actually part of the scene. And what I want to do is, is I want to jack the size of that up so that it fills the whole all of it, right? And then when I go back and look at the camera, I go, wow, oh man, it's kind of cloudy. So I need to probably make some adjustments if I were to drop the opacity down, maybe 50%. I don't know. I'm just sort of, you know, making it up. Uh, and then maybe I would change the cloud density to 20, just give it a little bit less. And then as it sort of moves, it's moving through that fluffy cloud effect. It looks 3D. Uh, and so that's basically it. In a nutshell, that's what we did. So if you have any questions, uh, drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.